It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 263. In today's episode, Amazon might be planning a holiday toy catalog. Amazon is taking a page from the recently shuttered Toys R Us chain. Looking to fill the void left by the toy chain, the online giant will be publishing a physical toy catalog for the holiday season. Unnamed sources say the printed guide will be mailed to millions of U.S. households and handed out at Whole Foods market locations. Paper catalogs are a long-standing holiday tradition in the United States, going back to the Sears Roebuck catalog and later the J.C. Penney catalog. Both of those were eclipsed by the rise of the Toys R Us catalog, which for years was the de facto wish book for kids during the holiday season. Physical catalogs are still a big part of holiday shopping planning. Kids can see the toys and circle the things they want. Walmart and Target both print and mail catalogs to their customers. The move appears to be another part of Amazon's strategy to incorporate bricks and mortar retailer tools into its sales arsenal. As you recall, rumors of Amazon wanting to buy some of the Toys R Us physical locations circulated last year. Toys R Us generated $6.5 billion in U.S. sales last year, so other retailers are scrambling to make up that gap. For example, Party City is opening 50 pop-up toy shops for the Christmas holidays. Other retailers will absorb the gap left by Toys R Us exit, but it could take up to two years, and they won't fully absorb the gap because Toys R Us had many more specific toys because of their ability to devote almost 100% of shelf space to one category. Amazon is the third largest toy seller behind Target and Walmart at number one, but is growing their market share faster than both competitors. Walmart took the top spot almost two decades ago. Wait, wait, wait. So they're taking their online business, then their paper catalog, and then they're going to take their stores? Yep. (laughs) Well, they didn't. uh, There was the rumor that went around that they were looking to snap up a bunch of the old Toys R Us stores. That never materialized. Now, instead, they're just going to steal their catalog business. And uh, (laughs) wait, 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 wait. So, for a a place that is all digital, they're going to do paper catalog. But aren't you noticing that they're becoming increasingly digital plus? Uh, oh yeah foods acquisition oh, yeah. the ghost stores now they're printing catalogs they got that stupid truck that drives around they're everywhere it's going the other way i mean that's that's how it's supposed to be right yep. yeah so, that's so it's interesting because this toys r us closing is still in the news and it happened you know a month ago or whatever because it really kind of shook up a whole industry you have to mm-hmm. think they were they were the place that you went to buy toys next to I guess a KB or name another toy chain. You really can't name another, can you? No, KB was the only one I think. Yeah, KB is the only one. There was Kitty City. They went out of business years and years ago. So yeah. this is a real opportunity for these other retailers uh, to move in. Obviously, Walmart. They're they're still number one. They'll always be number one in toys because that's just where everybody goes Christmas shopping. Uh, and I think Amazon just wants that bigger piece of that that toy toy uh sector um but you know i I like this idea of the catalog uh you know some traditions should should remain um i was that kid that was in the sears catalog circling things that my mother would never ever 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 buy but you know what i could keep circling that motorized mini bike or that electric guitar maybe one day maybe 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 just one day i would get it (laughs) so now you have to circle it on the ipad (laughs) <laughs> no, hey, I'm waiting for my Amazon catalog, you know, I'll just I'll put that and it's like, you know, it's like every Christmas I get up and I keep looking for the Lexus under the tree with the big bow and it's all I get is a big bow, no Lexus. Oh. <laughs> I went to Lexus with a big bow. Yeah, that'd be nice. Not really much else to say about this one here. It doesn't really say when the catalog's going to come out, but I would assume generally catalogs drop around uh, September or October. So we'll look for that and uh, it'll be interesting to see him you know, see toy catalogs in a Whole Foods. I mean, Whole Foods is really, you're going to see a lot of changes at Whole Foods in the next year. This is just another part of it. Yep. That's going to be interesting. All right. Got anything else? Nope. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>